made it here. I'm so glad. Sit down, relax. How are you? I cannot wait to watch this with you and kind of reflect on what happened in my first YouTube video attempt. We're gonna look at this painting that I made and kind of break down the bits. anxiety today because of these flies. This is my solution. This will work. If you see a fly, tell me. I would really like to get the drawing on here. I have the reference image already, but to think it through and process the image first, let's prioritize like two small thumbnail sketches for composition. I want to make sure that what I put on the canvas is the end result that I need. Got a hair in my mouth. I think this changes the focus point from here being the entrance way itself to here it's more about the little figure and the outside view. And I do want to balance of both. I decided to make this piece one because of the independent study course I'm taking. So I have to be working on some project. And two, I wanted to think about what I've learned over the summer with my plein air class, the subject matter that I've been enjoying, plus a little bit more technique with colors and, and kind of put together something that combined those. Yeah. As you can see, the doggies are in the studio. The flies are in the studio. There is no orderliness at all, <laughs> except for what's on the canvas. Fingers crossed that I don't have to mix anymore. Please be enough. Oh. It is the smallest amount of canvas and I have nothing left. I'd say that the process I have for putting a drawing onto my canvas is a little bit tedious, um, but I do it for a very particular reason, which is that I make every single decision about what line or shape goes onto that canvas and also when I should simplify things a little. And I am a sucker for accuracy, and so that goes into it also. But yeah, I'd say the, in total, this didn't actually take that long. The drawing itself was fairly simple. We're gonna be mixing that. One thing I might do is to keep the detail of the painting in one area here on the focal point and the rest will be kind of looser work. We're gonna do that area first. I feel like I look so serious when I'm talking about stuff in this video and it doesn't really feel like me, but I guess I'm in the zone. Here's the progress. I'm probably gonna scrape all of this off and start fresh with my wet palette. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go eat lunch, take a break. You ready for lunch? What do you think of my progress? Oh well. It's my lovely old paints. I feel like jelly. We're gonna paint outside. That's exactly what I need. This is my superhero cape. Without it, I probably would be laying in bed. Looks fine. This is good. That's a lot better. I was having the hardest time dealing with the dogs barking every five seconds and I don't think I stayed outside too long. 
realized earlier, it's pouring rain. There's thunder, there's lightning. Part of me just really wants to go inside and read and not have to think about the next parts of my painting. Sometimes when you're not feeling the best, you really do have to go take some time off. This is so accurate. I can get kind of like stumped on a piece within the first few days. I think it helps when you have a little bit more of a plan. I didn't that time. Um, so I kind of like struggled through some of these other rough layers, but if you show up and you work for a little bit, it passes. I am really curious though, does anyone else stare at their work for hours just looking at it, figuring out what to do next? Because that is me. Got one. The other half of this story is in the next video. I would love it if you go watch me wrap up this painting. Please go watch.